You know, one of the easiest and fastest ways to start mistrusting a company is when it comes to money, right? When you look at your paycheck, when you look at your deposits, when you look at what ends up in your bank account and things are not adding up, a lot of question marks starting start arising and a lot of ill feeling um, builds up against a company. And that goes for any company that you can work for, right? And I know in the past, you know, I would question, you know, well, why did I get this? Can you explain this? And, and if the employer doesn't have a great explanation, you really don't want to go to work anymore because you say to yourself, hey, what does my next paycheck look like? Or how much will they take out of it next time? How much in this case will they take out of my next driver uh, trip? right, that I'm doing, this hard work that I'm conducting as a driver. Now, you know, when you see numbers like this, where the guy traveled 54 miles, right, um, almost an hour, ends up getting $56, but the rider ended up paying $162.51. $162.51. I automatically say, hang out. Hang on one second. Um, how did you get to this number? And why am I getting this? That, that gap there, the fact is, and I'm blocking the numbers here, but Uber received $106.20 out of this. Listen to this. $106.20. And the driver ends up getting $56.31. No explanation. No breakdown. But like... How do these radical markups take place? You know, how does Uber get to these numbers? And why does Uber fail again and again and again, explaining to the driver why he or she only gets that and why they are coining that? Listen, this is, a, you know, one third, two thirds ratio. This is like a 33% um you know, 60 something percent for the company. This, this is insane, right? And if you're driving around and you've done 54 miles, which that's a decent amount of miles on your car, and you've driven for one hour in traffic to receive that type of money, and then the company that you work for is taking that out of your paycheck, you start building up a lot of anger and resentment, hatred, frustrations towards the company. So, you know, transparency is needed here. Um, sharing the pie, sharing, you know, the monies, being just fair as the, uh, as, you know, the company, the employer, right? Just be fair. How difficult is that? Or is this just pure, pure greed at the end of the day, right? To me, it looks like pure greed. No, no willingness to show how they got to those numbers. No willingness to show why they marked it up so much. But hey, you know what? Take that and be happy. If not, we'll replace you. Right? So this is where we need to push for change. This is where we really need to strike and protest on critical days, whether it's Christmas or New Year's Eve. We have to um, make banners. Right? This is a classic banner where you could stand in front of the press or the camera and say, hey, why did Uber charge the rider 162, why did I get 56? You know, explain that. Or somebody come onto this TV show, ABC or Reuters or NBC, and explain that from Uber, why you guys uh, feel that you have to take that, right? And um, very, very important that you show the rider, the passenger, how much you are getting and how much they are paying. So, you know, if you don't mind, if we could just compare briefly this is what I got. Wow, this is what I paid. Well, it's a greedy company, right, that you are paying and are not taking care of us. Please speak up for us, right? So passengers need to really speak up for us. Riders really need to stick up for us that this discrepancy here is just completely unfair. The markups are so absurd, not explained, and it creates... A, a, you know, a lot of anger and disappointment towards the company, right? They believe that they can time and time again get away with these type of shenanigans, right? The public needs to know this. 
The rider passenger needs to know this and the driver needs to stand up and fight, folks. Thank you.